originally from? In this lifetime? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I was born in Edmonton. Mm -hmm. And then I was raised in Consort, Alberta. And we've talked about the influence that Alberta has had on you mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. When you reflect back on it now, what do you think about the influence of Alberta on who you are? Oh, I think it, it's, it's, it's ripe. Alberta is ripe. My relationship with Alberta is ripe. Um, um, from a spiritual and aesthetic point of view, Alberta's minimalism, the prairies, the openness, the vastness, the emptiness, that all plays into my Buddhism and my um, artistic approach in general. Um, and politically, it, Alberta definitely fuels my activism. <laughs> Let's put good. it that way. That was very delicately said. Yeah. What do you think about when you think about the idea of fame allowing you in some ways to give voice to concerns and issues that you feel strongly about from, you know, gay rights, transgender rights, vegetarianism, all of it. Well, I feel the same way about fame as I feel about any life in, uh, you know, when we're born a human being, when you think of all the beings in the world to be born human without any natural predators, uh, you know that's a pretty precious opportunity and to to not to not be in service is such a waste to me like i just feel like it's such an opportunity to move forward because you can question and you can think and you can like i said be in service you can help what does this award mean to you well, lifetime achievement comes with its own set of um, <laughs> baggage. <laughs> yeah, for sure, baggage. Um, it, it's just it's very rich. It's it's rich with a lot of provocative things to meditate on. Like because mm -hmm. um, I don't feel like I'm done, but although I feel done in music business, so. I, I, it's it's it, it it's quite rich, and my mother passed this year, so there's a there's a lot, you know, there's a lot. Would have been nice to have your mom here. Well, yeah, I do feel that she was here, but uh, yeah, mm. she she was uh, she she would have been okay with not being here too. <laughs> <laughs> she liked to keep me down there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all need the grounding influences in our lives. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. mothers are particularly good at that. Yeah. In your shift from the very beginning, sort of cow punk into, into pop and torch singing, and it seems to defy what people would like to put in terms of musical boxes. What, what do you think inspires those shifts for you? Music. Yeah, music. I mean, I just, I'm polyamorous when it comes to my loyalty with music um, I'll just get turned on to something like in the early days it was Patsy Cline and I just went full bore into it like just mm. listened to everything she ever made and you know just absorbed it all and then it just came out of me and so I just kind of you know, live life, and then there'll be like just some little spark, some little portal, and I'll be like, "Oh my God, jazz is so amazing!" Or, you know, it just floats around, and it's just not that I can do all of it because I know I can't. But um, I just, as a as an observer and as a listener, it's I think that's where it all begins. Mm. And you attract great collaborators, too, the people you've been able to perform with. I've had some luck, for sure, some yeah. amazing collaborations. Yeah? What's your most favorite one you think about right now? Uh, <laughs> Roy. Yeah. Roy, for sure. Tony. Mm -hmm. um, Tony Bennett, who said... Tony Bennett. When you sing, he can actually hear angels. So no. He's, he's so generous. <laughs> Do you think your faith, your Buddhism, helps you navigate the slings and arrows of the music business? It's inseparable. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And I, I realize that I don't want to be one of those people waving at John 316 at the football game, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's inseparable. Right. It's my, it's my, it's my everything. Yeah. And your sense of humor too. Yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> for sure. What do you think about the role of arts and culture in general in terms of strengthening our democracy or who we are or even our understanding of each other? It's as important as water or sunshine. I mean, it's, it's a natural mirror. It's, um, it, it's natural for us to express ourselves, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, when we see someone else express something that we have not yet comprehended, that's the purpose of art. That's the purpose of, and art in the broad, broad, broad sense of the word. Right. Yeah, it's just someone else's uh, interpretation of something to, to be a teacher. What do you still have to do, do you think? Well, um... I'm not sure, and I think that's a good place to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was a good daughter, and um, you know, and I and uh, as a Buddhist, it it lifetime achievement's good. Lifetimes achievement better. <laughs>